Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. I'm in a jogging mood today, even though we're not going anywhere. <laughs> right, I want to remind you guys that, of course, we have entered season three of our shows, inshallah. We've moved on to a whole different section. And if you've been watching our drawings during the week, you'll know that we've been drawing all sorts of uh, camels and uh, bears and tigers and meerkats and stuff of that nature, right? So that is what we're doing this time. Animals, okay, that are in uh, the jungle or in the forest or in the fields as well. So we have a quick premiere we want to show you to remind you of what we're doing. So check it out, inshallah, for season three. Check it out. is Mariam Summer, and I'll be your host for today. Also, it is good for us to know about the history and the Muslim world. The start of the battle began with three duels, three fights. Put forward Utba bin Rabia, Sheba bin Rabia, Khalid bin Utba, while the Muslims put forward at first Abdullah bin Rawaha, Uf and Muawid. History teaches us about Prophet Muhammad وسلم, who he is and what he did. Muslims should follow his example. Because of this, history teaches us a lot of good lessons. Let's get started. So that left the Muslims with 700 men. 50 archers should stay up on the hill and not leave it, whether the Muslims are winning or losing. He said that he will send them a message about what to do. The archers were led by Abdullah bin Jubayr, attacked from the side or from the rear if they didn't have the cover of the archers. Some of the archers didn't follow the instructions of the Prophet Muhammad. So just a little, little glimpse as to what is in store for season three, which we've already started, so that's really cool. Right, guys, we are going to remind you of what our monthly competition is, because we did it before, but it is a memory I suppose it is like a memory test as well, so you have to pay attention. We are giving away copies of my Muslim All-Stars Monster Mayhem. Ooh, okay, S for slightly older children, maybe eight, seven, eight and upwards to about maybe 13 or so, inshallah. Five normal everyday kids, they're not superheroes, they don't have powers, they don't fly or anything like that. They're just everyday normal kids who find themselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Okay, so we're going to be giving these away to you guys as well and I will do my best as well as the Muslim Family Coloring Book to make sure you get a signed copy look at this one not signed at all oh but if we do give this out to you guys right inshallah I will try to make sure that I sign them for you as well right so what is the competition I want you to watch this short video okay and I'm gonna ask you a question <laughs> <laughs> about it so you must pay attention you must read everything as quickly as possible and then after when we come back after that I'm gonna ask you a question and that is how you will qualify to get one of these and I'll give you the email address in a bit so for now just <sighs> get your strength up okay get your strength up and watch this video now
right, did you observe very carefully? Maybe you even took notes. Well, if you did, that's okay. All you have to do is answer this question. <laughs> Can you name the five Muslim all-stars? Uh, so simple, isn't it? I know, because we want you guys to get a copy of these books. That's what we're talking about. We want you to get a copy and a side copy at that. So all you need to do is send your answer on this email, tmks.club at gmail.com. Name the five members of the Muslim all stars and you will get yourselves a copy of this is our latest book we've got a few more no it's not our latest book actually i don't think about it so there's a lot of adventure in there a lot of silliness is there as well so crazy stuff going on in there as well i like to write my stories make them interesting make them funny but make them you have to think as well because it's all about working with other communities as well as other topics as well so much crap to do that book right so remember all you need to do is name the five members of the Muslim All-Stars. Send your answers on the following email, tmks.club at gmail.com. And that could be yours. Right. What should we do next? Right. I think it's time that, talking about stories, I think it's time for Auntie K. Auntie K. Hope you're fine, inshallah. The family is well, inshallah. Everything is good with you guys. But it's your turn now. So Auntie K's got a little story for us. And remember, guys, I need to remind you that if you have any books of your own that you've written, maybe you know someone else written a lovely Islamic children's book, and you want it featured here and read up by Auntie K, make a note of the details afterwards. Or you can just send your request or your information to tmks.club at gmail.com and you can send it there inshallah and tell us about them and give us a show where the book is and everything so we can check it out and invite them to send their books in and auntie k will read it out for you that is going to be awesome right every writer's ambition should be to have their book read up by auntie k right guys so let's check out that video right now the muslim kids show Asalaamu Alaikum and welcome to Storytime on the Muslim Kids Show with Auntie K. Do you remember Busy B from last week? Remember? Today we have another adventure with Busy B and this time with Baby Zebra. Let's find out what happens. Busy B wakes up in the morning early and bright, thanking Allah for a restful night. She dusts and sweeps and cleans her home. Then she's ready to go out and roam. Today, B needs to go to town. She always smiles and never wears a frown. B takes her brown basket and hurries along, all the while buzzing her special B song. On her way, Busy B meets Hummingbird, who flies along without saying a word. He flaps his wings so very fast, B wonders how his energy lasts. Arriving at the market, she greets everyone she sees. B smiles, nods, and says, excuse me, please. Always helping others and never afraid to say, I'm sorry. B trades her sweet honey for spices and wool. She does this until her basket is full. Tired and hungry, B says goodbye. She whizzes off with a heavy sigh. Past the meadow and over the hill, busy B begins to feel ill. She finds a large flower to rest on nearby. No time to rest, she hears someone cry. Who could it be? thinks Busy Bee. Looking left and right, she sees something coloured black and white. It's baby zebra crying. Oh, what a sad sight. I've lost my mummy, sobs baby zebra as Bee comes near. Out of his eye drops another large tear. B gives him a petal to dry his eyes. He has a loud sob for someone his size. I will help you find your mummy, says B, even if we have to walk all the way to the sea. Baby Zebra, where did you last see her? Let's not waste time, we must act fast. B flies here and there. She cannot see Mother Zebra anywhere. Then Porcupine comes into view with his quills, standing up high. Have you seen Mother Zebra? asks B, with a twinkle in her eye. 
No, I haven't. I've been collecting bark all day. Ask Peacock. He might have noticed if Mummy Zebra went his way. In the woods, Busy Bee sees a flash of blue. It's Peacock admiring his tail, which looks like new. Have you seen Mother Zebra? Bee asked Peacock with a smile. No, I have not, and I've been here all the while. Ask Hippo. He might have something to say. And with that, Peacock began to play. In a swamp nearby, Hippo is seen. He has very big teeth, but he doesn't act mean. Can you help me, please? Ask Busy Bee. No, I'm extremely busy. Ask Owl. He's wiser than me. On a branch of a tree where the shadows are deep, Busy Bee finds wise Owl fast asleep. Have you seen Mother Zebra? She whispers into Owl's ear. No, I haven't. In the daytime, my eyesight is not very clear. But I have to find her. Can you tell me how? Owl shakes his head. I'm too tired to think about it now. They're all busy and tired, thinks Bee. So they won't help poor baby Zebra. What about me? Can't anyone see that I'm also busy? Bee thinks about quitting and flying home. Then she thinks, I can't leave baby Zebra all alone. Oh Allah, Allah has helped me, so I should help baby Zebra too. I just wish I knew what to do. Flying back, busy Bee is sad. Baby Zebra is in despair. Bee makes dua saying, Oh Allah, help us in this big affair. Just then, some clouds begin to fill the sky and loud thunder scares a cow nearby. The cow scares a man who gives a cry and lets go of the rope that holds his hot air balloon which takes off into the sky. Suddenly, Busy Bee sees something big flying high. It's a hot air balloon floating up in the sky. Bee grabs the balloon's ropes and steers it down. Baby Zebra climbs in with a worried frown. The thunder stops and the clouds blow away. Bee and her friend soar through the clear day. They fly past the forest, Hippo's swamp, the lake, over a stone bridge and between mountains so great. They look down all the time from their perch in the air, hoping to spot Mummy Zebra somewhere. Looking here, looking there, in a bush thicket, Busy Bear sees black hair. Hmm, is it a giraffe or a big black bear? Or maybe a panther, although they are rare. It's Mummy Zebra! Hip, hip, hooray! Bee lands the hot air balloon knowing that the adventure will end soon. Mummy and Baby reunite. Oh, what a grand sight! The exhausted, busy bee flies back home to rest. She knows that helping others is always best. Allah loves those who help others and Allah helps those who help others. Wasn't that a beautiful story? The Adventures of Busy Bee with Baby Zebra. I hope you enjoyed that story. For more, tune in again to Storytime on the Muslim Kids Show with me, Auntie Kay. Take care. Asalaamu Alaikum. If you are a young children's book author and would like your book read out on Storytime on the Muslim Kids Show, please get in touch by sending us an email at themuslimkidsshow at gmail.com. Alhamdulillah. Thank you once again, Auntie Kay. Remember, guys, if you've got a book that you've written or you know someone that's got a book that's written for kids, for Muslim kids, and you want it read out by Auntie Kay, please send your information on the following address, tmks.club at gmail.com. We're looking forward to hearing from you guys. Right, it's that time, guys. We have to be kind of quick now because we're going to have a, a short break uh, afterwards, but it's coming up very quickly, so we need to be as quickly as possible. It's going to be our one-minute competition. We've got the time.
timer is fixed, mashallah. So guys, we want to start giving us a call. Put that number on the screen for me, boys, in the back room. Put that number there so they can call, inshallah. So what we're doing, uh, we're going to be giving away a prize for the person or the yeah, person that wins today. We're going to give away a TMKS cup as well as the Muslim Family Coloring Book as well. So we've got all the different cups to go with our Fruity Bunch as well. So that is going to be the prize for today. All you need to do is give us a call in the number below. I'm going so quickly and a little bit my tongue there as well. And I'm going to pull out from this bucket the questions that we've been had all along. And we've got some new questions in there as well. I'm going to try and pull them out as randomly as possible. In one minute, you have to answer as many correctly as you can. If you don't know the answer, just say pass and we'll quickly move on. We've got the one minute, 60 seconds time on here so guys whip out that phone take a note of that number it is zero two zero eight six six two four five five zero okay give us a call right now do we have anybody not yet <laughs> okay guys so remember you're gonna get yourselves another copy go we just want you guys to get these books as much as possible we're gonna give you a copy of the muslim family coloring book and one of these amazing cups that are so cool uh the so look at it when you pull the head back right the straw comes out right and you can drink away to your heart's content right so you're going to get one of these as well as the coloring book remember guys i'm going to do my best to pull out as many random questions as possible bearing in mind that we do have some new questions in here we've been working quite hard behind the scenes don't you know and uh we've got some new questions for you you might encounter a few of the other ones okay which is cool but anyway right i think we've got our first caller assalamu alaikum Welcome, Islam. Okay, who am I speaking to? I'm um, Aisha and Leon. Say again? Aisha and Leon. Okay, how are you today? I'm good. Okay, are you ready for one minute of intense questions? Yeah. Okay, make sure you turn your television down, okay? Are you ready? Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, here we go. One minute from now. Okay, how many letters are there in the Arabic alphabet? Um. Uh, I say again. Can't hear you. Twenty-five. Okay. Who was the first prophet? Um, Who? Upon him. Okay. How many sons did the prophet have? Three. <laughs> okay. What name the five pillars of Islam? Um. Name the five pillars. Okay, all right, I think that's it. What is the name of the pre dawn meal before the fast? Quick, seven seconds. No, no, you ran out of time, I'm afraid. Oh. Sorry, we, I think we had a bit of a bad line as well, so it's not your fault as well. So stick around, put the phone down, inshallah, and we're going to see if we've got another caller. Do we have another caller? No callers at the moment, right. So make sure, guys, you turn your television down, because I know sometimes you want to talk to the television, but it creates a, a quite a weird loop in my earphone here as well. So I need to hear you directly without hearing you through the television, through the microphone, through your speakers as well. So make sure you turn your television down. Get yourselves ready for one minute of intense questions. You can see already we had some of the new questions coming up as well and one of the old ones. So it's a very interesting mixed budge here as well. Make a note of that number 0208 662 54550. Give us a call on that number. We haven't got a lot of time, I'm afraid. We're going to have to stop very quickly because we've got the other coming up, inshallah. So are there any other callers? No more callers at the moment. Right, I'm going to do my best, as usual, to try to mix up all of these questions. As usual, one of our creatures have not, our fluffy toys has not crawled in here again. So that's good news as well. So I'm doing my best to make sure I mix these questions up with the old ones. Now remember, turn your television down. If you don't know the answer, time is just wasting away. It's draining away. So don't just go, uh, okay, just say pass and we'll quickly as possible go on to the next question. Do we have another caller? 
Okay, we haven't got any callers at the moment. Remember, guys, we are giving away as much as we can because during the pandemic as well, we want to make sure that if you guys are at home most of the time, you've got something constructive to do as opposed to just going online and going on TikTok and things like that as well. So we want to make sure that you've got something that you can do. And the added bonus of the Muslim Family Coloring Book is that it's got the word family in there. It's for the entire family to get together and go through some of the some of the pages there's over a hundred pages over 500 illustration stories uh 99 names of allah again i always get a bit tongue-tied when we <laughs> when i describe what's in it because there's so much in there inshallah right do we ha have any other callers any other callers no i don't think so no i don't think so sorry yes salam alaikum Walaikum salam. who am i speaking to Aida. Who? Aiza. Okay. Are you ready for one minute of intense questions? Yes. Okay, here we go. Start that timer now, please. Let's first question. Who was the first prophet? Muhammad, peace be upon him. All right, then. Who was the last prophet? Ah! If you don't know, say pass. Okay, what were humans created from? What were humans created Bed. from? Okay. What were jinns created from? Okay. What were jinns created from? Um, fire. Okay. Which is the longest surah in the Quran? Okay. Okay. Let me just get that random question for you. How old was the prophet when he when his mother died? Okay, I think we've got time for one more. Who can see you all the time? Allah. All righty then, thank you so much. That's going to have to be our last caller for today, inshallah. Right, guys, we're going to get the boys in the back room to, uh, to, uh, to tell us who the winner is. Okay, the last caller was the winner. So the last corner, last caller, right, you're going to get one of these. And, of course, you'll get one of these as well. Absolutely awesome. Thank you so much, guys, inshallah. Remember, send all of your correspondence, guys, or if you want to get in touch with us, send email to tmks.club at gmail.com, inshallah. Woo! Right, guys, we can't thank you enough for being here with us once again. It's been a bit hectic today. I don't know. Sometimes it's really smooth. <laughs> sometimes it's really not. But... But thank you very much, inshallah. We are making sure that we try to provide as much guaranteed entertainment for you guys as much as possible and make it interesting for you. Stay safe, stay warm, make sure you never miss our shows. Take care. Salaam alaikum. Hot.